What's going on, YouTubers? It's Matthew, Vic, and I got the JoJo Lena with me. And we're gonna talk about how this couple right here makes over a quarter million. Yeah, I said it, a quarter million dollars picking up trash. Ain't that right, JoJo? You just would not believe how much money is in junk removal. So hit that like and subscribe button, and we got some tips at the end of this video, so stay tuned for it. example of some of the phone calls that you'll get um, the example here is this is a landlord and she had to evict her tenants and so they call us up to clean everything out and she is so fed up with tenants that she's gonna sell this place she's not gonna rent her place anymore so before she can sell this place we got to come clean it up yeah the tenant went to jail and check out this house. It smells like straight it, bud. Oh my God, I'm getting... It was a party house. They was growing weed up in here. They was partying up in here. Check it out, they just destroyed it. So this is what's gonna happen. You guys will get phone calls from people and you'll go over there, you'll give the customer an estimate or a quote and you'll get the job. Look, they're growing bud. If you guys can see, this is just a disaster. They ruined the carpet. They actually put holes in the walls upstairs. Let me show you guys real quick. They just destroyed this place. Ain't no way they had to clean this carpet up. It's filthy. So yeah, imagine this. Person putting holes in the wall. Just straight dirt bag status. It smells so bad in here that if this was smell a vision, you'd go, you'd have the munchies right now. You'd run to the 7-Eleven. It is disgusting. So yeah. This place just smells horrible, but you know what? You'll make good money. And check this out, they destroyed this room. This was a grow room. Look at it. So if anyone needs any bud on the channel, holla at your boy. I got some bud over there. I got some bud over here. I got some bud over here. Yeah, they just destroyed it, so. These are the type of jobs you guys will come across. You got house flippers, you got property managers, you got realtors that'll call you up. A lot of people are moving out of state in California, so we get jobs for people that are moving. And yeah, this is a good paying job. And you never know what you'll find either, especially at a house where someone, someone went to jail. They might have some cash hidden, so I'm gonna check underneath all the mattresses and uh, go through the house. And it smells funky. If you're living like this and you're on the channel, you better do something different with your life. Ain't that right, JoJo? Yeah. Are you rolling a joint up right now? <laughs> She's pocketing <laughs> stuff, I think. Are you? No, but it's the perfect house to like really look for hidden things. Yeah, you never know. They might put something in the wall, cash underneath the mattress. You never know. So we're going to go through this house and see if we can find anything. But yeah. Does anyone need that California green? <laughs> We got it by the pound. This is about a QP. Uh, it's pretty fluffy though, so yeah. Just bud everywhere, huh? Yeah. Look at that, look what I found, a gold ring. Do you guys see that? Let's see if it's real. And I'm not sure if it's real or not, let's see. It says 14K on it, can you guys see it? Oh, you can't really see it. I think it says 14K, maybe. Does that say 14K? You're asking somebody that's fine. Well, anyways, I'm gonna put that right here for now and check it later, so yeah. So what do you guys think? Am I stunting or what? Now, let me tell you guys how we priced this job. I got the phone call from the landlord. I met them here. I showed up looking professional in uniform. The dump truck looks professional. I showed up on time. I introduced myself with a smile and I walked through the house with confidence. I walked through, calculated everything in my head that would fill up the dump truck and told her we'll do it per load. So that's how we do it. There's stuff in the backyard too, if you guys can see. And there's a bunch of trash out here that needs to go too. They just tore this house up. They even knocked the fence down. And this is a good paying job. 
And some I always tell the customer to do is put blue tape on whatever they want to keep. So if you can see here, there's blue tape. If you can see that door right there, there's blue tape. If you can see JoJo right now, she's looking for money. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that right? Well, you never know what you're gonna find when you get a job and it's a house like this and it's those circumstances um, where, you know, they, they had to leave in a hurry. You know, they just, you never know what you're gonna find. So take your, take your time, go through stuff. Yeah, we're working after hours right now. We worked earlier today. We made some good cash and it's what, six o'clock right now? And I wanna check yeah. this house out before we came tomorrow and did it. So yeah, that's what we're doing right now. So the refrigerator has blue tape. The microwave has blue tape. That stays. And that's how we do it. So everything else goes. There's more bud right here too. Just tore shit up, huh? It's sad because it's a beautiful home. Oh yeah. It's a, it's really, I mean the marble countertops and stuff, it's a real pretty home. So me and Jojo will do one low tonight and I'll be back tomorrow to bust this one out. And they use the garage for a grow room too. It's tore back in there, but it's all dark. You can't see. So I think we're going to start upstairs. Now, if you're a female on the channel and you're with that baller because you want that little twin, 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 just remember his mattress probably looks like that. Straight funky. Funky. So yeah, we make it look fun and easy, but Jojo, what'd you just grab right now? Well, I have a bag that is not all the way full, but I'm bringing it down anyways before it gets a hole in it because there was like jars of, of I thought it was like beer or some sort of drink, but after I threw it in here it, and it dumped and I realized that it was pee and it's pee that's really been there for a long time. It's nasty. So the bag is just gonna get not filled up all the way so yeah we did say two hundred fifty thousand per year you can make that's what we make over a quarter million per year picking up trash but you'll do some filthy jobs what's a little bit of pee what's a little bit of pee pay me my money <laughs> hell yeah we're gonna get it Now keep in mind, whenever you gotta go fetch stuff, say it's far away or it's in the cupboards and you gotta take your time doing all that stuff, it's time consuming. So make sure you charge more money. So that's what we did. We charge more money, we gotta fetch stuff. So I'm gonna show you guys the garage real quick. So this was another grow room. If you guys can see, it's kind of dark in here. There's no lights. They actually had the pg e turned off. So what would you guys charge? Leave a comment down below. I know it's kind of hard to see, but I'm just wondering where you guys are at on this job. All this goes to, and we'll do this job in one day. Like I said, we're doing one load today just to go through some stuff, but keeping the damn lights. That's worth money right there. But yeah, leave a comment down below. Now 
Now let's do some math. So you wanna make a quarter million per year. That's only $687 per day. That's not that hard. We make around anywhere between 1,500 to two grand per day and we don't work every day. Ain't that right, Jojo? Yeah, that's right. And that wasn't our starting goal. Not our at all. starting goal was Matthew wanted to make $2,000 extra a month just to get ahead in life. That's what he wanted to do. And and I thought that was a stretch. I didn't tell him that, but I was like, hey, I'm thinking that's kind of a stretch. Maybe someday you'll make that. But he made that his first month. And then I remember your second goal was $300 a day. And you know, and then I was like, well, that's, you know, well, let's go for it. And you know, we just kept surpassing goals. So this year, our goal was obviously higher than $300 it's a day. It's two grand a day. So yeah, we're just out here getting it. We're not getting two grand every day, but we get a lot of two grand days, three grand days, and even got one day for $4,500 in what? Four or five hours worth of work. So yeah. there's ne good money to make. Never in my wildest dreams did I think that making a quarter of a million dollars with junk removal would have been possible. And it is no doubt possible. And we'll surpass that next year. No doubt. Oh, no, doubt. no doubt. And we'll take like a month or two off and we'll still make that much money. I mean, we'll take a week off here, a week off there, go hunting, go to Vegas, go do something. And yeah, we'll still make that. So there's good money to be made as long as you work it right and you're dedicated. So yeah, this room is almost done. Jojo gets it. It's getting dark in here. It's getting dark in here. Uh. And it smells like funk in here. Look, some more bud, guys. I'm for <laughs> real. Leave a comment down below. Uh, some tiny buds on there. Look at that. So I don't know if you guys can see, but it's getting dark out here. So we're done for the day and I'm sweating my ass off. How about you? Yeah, it's warm. It's the evening time. It's already, it's starting to get dark sooner. So it's gotten a little dark here in the cab. Um, we said that we would end the video with some tips on how to help you also make a quarter million dollars. Or more. Yes. And my first advice is have a good attitude. You. If you have a good attitude, you, you have to believe that you can achieve your goals. You have to believe that the goals that you're wanting, it's possible for you to achieve them. So the first step is have a positive attitude. And believe in yourself. You might have that girlfriend or friend or coworker telling you, you ain't gonna make that kind of money picking up trash or doing whatever you wanna do. The first thing you need to do is believe in yourself. And then set some goals. Make sure you set some goals. Write them down. That's what we did. We wrote them down and what happened? Yeah, you write them down and put them in a place where you can see them and look at them every single day. And every day, do at least one thing that gets you closer to your goal. And be a go-getter. Don't forget to be a go-getter. When you wake up in the morning, look in that mirror and tell yourself, I'm going to make money today. Yep, you have to be a go-getter. So you have to have a good attitude, believe in yourself, make goals, believe you can achieve your goals. And if you're, if you're doing something and it doesn't seem to be working, try something else. So like Facebook ads work really, really well with us. If that doesn't work for you, try something else. Keep trying until you find that one thing that works for you. Going into real estate offices and passing out flyers, that works for us. If that doesn't work for you, try something else. It's all about getting on the grind, getting on your hustle, and not quitting, guys. Until next time, I'm Matthew Vick. This is the JoJo Lena. And we out here just getting it, hauling and balling. Oh, yeah.